Hello everyone, it's me, Michael. I'm coming back with another Comic Taco video. And there was a bit of a thing going on in the comic book industry where I can basically just really have a good opportunity to show you the difference between a good comic and a bad comic. If you're under 13, this may discuss some subjects you may you might not want to hear about. So if you're not a, really a young adult yet, then don't watch the video. I know I don't have that much reach on the internet, but like if someone happens to stumble upon this who's like a kid, just just don't watch it. Trust me, this video is not for you. Anyway, you can probably decide for yourself what's a good comic and a bad comic. Like most readers have been able to really just use basic common knowledge to decide what's good and what's bad with the comic. I know it's all up to opinion, but like, you know, if you start introducing identity politics and stuff like that, like that's obviously clearly to most people like a bad move. But comics have been doing it anyway, which is why their sales have been tanking. Anyway, let's get into this. Anyway, we have a bunch of sites and they're just praising this new book and this is the good comic by the way it's king spawn like just look at that artwork that's what you want to see from marvel not the simplified you know sixth grader noob drawings that you see with books like i am not starfire like the real quality drawings like this one here like the the visuals blew me away in fact this book has gotten almost 500,000 copies sold that's more than they're making normally in a year now. Like, this could be something that could actually, you know, touch manga. I'm not saying it's going to topple manga or beat manga, but it could get a little bit on manga's level. You know, Japanese comic books that are out being everything over here. Like, this is good. There's no woke politics in here. It's just a simple story about the character. I don't know much about the story, couldn't find much on what it's about, don't know King Spawn, but he looks like an interesting character, looks like it's going to be a dark and gritty comic book story, which could work out very well, and it's not like characters discussing their pronouns for like 12 issues or something, like a new Mutants comic or something like that just had the the mutants at a dinner party for 12 issues straight like that's uh, sorry if you hear any background noise but anyway that's just not good like come on who wants to read about that for 12 issues also something that has been going on and you'll see this in the bad com uh the bad comic issue that's coming out and it's not every character has to be queer now like you can't have any straight white characters you know and I'll show you what I mean. But it feels like they're just like, what character can we make gay in this issue? And they just like throw darts at a board and go like, oh, looks like we're, looks like we're destroying, you know, like She-Hulk this time around. You know, she's going to be like a muscly blob of nothing. Be a dumb brute now. Let's go with that. It's like, nope, next up we got Starfire here. We're going to tank her in a new woke book. About body positivity and how it's okay to treat your friends like trash. As long as you get superpowers in the end. Like, you know, like, these are actual comic books coming out. But we got this here, and this is good. It's a story of the character that people want to follow. It's not, you know, like, forcefully making them be gay or something. Or queer. Like, like... It's not race swapping this character for no apparent reason. It's not having them be outbeat by a strong female lead. Or strong I put in heavy quotations. Because a strong female lead for the comic book and Hollywood industry now. Is one that treats everyone like trash. So self-righteous. You can't, you know, think straight. Always has ego boosts. The list goes on. But no, just comic. It's about a guy is king spine and he's he's doing some serious business in this book i haven't read quite into it but from what i've been seeing many people have claimed that it's not woke it's just doing its duty as your entertainment to immerse you in a good story 
here's the example of the bad one, and, like, you know, Robin explores his bisexuality in New Batman comic. It's probably, like, the worst language I've ever used on here, but it's still not bad. I'm being scientific with it. Anyway, Robin explores, you know, his new identity in New Batman comic. This is the thing, like, leave the character alone. Like, no one wants to see Black Panther become white. And no one wants to see Peter Parker turn into an obese lesbian and be put in a wheelchair, okay? Like, leave them be. Is it so hard? Uh, we're in an era where there's no straight white men in comics or entertainment anymore. We have to forcefully shove in a character to be more diverse and push the message, and it's like, can can I just let myself be immersed in this book? Like, put out a story that I can enjoy and just be like, yes, I like this character. I don't see his race first because you're not shoving it down my throat. Anyway, like he, this isn't, and this isn't like an aspect of this book. The entire comic book will be Robin going on a date with another guy. Maybe there will be some crime fighting, but, like, the whole point is just exploring this new relationship. And it's, like, Robin's been, like, I know, like, some people poke fun at Robin at being gay or something because, like, there's that one panel in a comic book where Bruce and Dick Grayson were in the same bed, but this is, like, a different Robin. This is Tim Drake, I think. And, you know, even that, that was, like, really back in the day, and that wasn't supposed to imply that Bruce was having some affair with his son but now no one can stop thinking about it and I know I probably just put some bad images in your head but like you know it's like people see anything and they have to associate with being queer or something we can't just leave them be there's nothing wrong with being a straight white guy I got nothing against you I'm a straight white guy but like you know, like, and I got nothing against people being queer, but you don't need to shove it down our throats for every character. Not every character has to have some body positive or identity positive aspect about them. Like, you know, sometimes it's just good to have a decent, normal character. I'm not saying you're not normal if you fit into any categories, but like, saying, you know, sometimes it's just, it's okay to leave the characters be. You know, and the it it's it might have been like a little bit not good for Robin to just be switched over like this and just have that be a small aspect, but the whole book is about this. We have literally entire comic book series where characters talk about their pronouns. Like who wants to read that for like a bunch of issues? It's like, yep, yep, I get it. Can we move on to the story now? No, this is the story. It's like, oh no, I'm getting, I'm not like, I'm sure a lot of people use this for fire fuel, but like, you know, this is what not to do. Just jumping in with the woke politics and cramming it down our throats, like, you know, like King Spawn is the good example. It's just not doing anything outrageous it's not shoving identity politics down your throats it's not giving you a strong female lead who treats everybody like trash and yet they're considered to be strong just a good story but this uh like got nothing against people who are who are gay but like i mean come on this being an entire issue uh i think you can see what the problem is here and you know, if they keep going like on like this, manga's gonna keep winning. Demon Slayer, a popular manga book series coming from Japan, outbeat the entire Western comic book corporation, all of them, with one book. Like, how do you get that bad to be beaten by one book from another country i know demon slayer is great and it's been adapted into a fantastic anime that i would give like a 9 out of 10 but like seriously like marvel and dc and the rest of the smaller western comic book industry just couldn't like they couldn't beat one book like how bad 
how bad do you have to be to get like that? Anyway, I think you get the comparison here. I'm going to stop rambling and let you get on with your day. With that being said, hope you give this a like, comment, helps out the channel. Be sure to subscribe, share the video if you want. I'll be back again real soon.